Well, hello there, everyone, and to all of my happy crafters out there, I'd like to thank you so much that you would tune in to 12 Days of Christmas, which of course consists of 12 episodes of Artsy Crafts with me, your host, Maria Young. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to be doing in today's episode is we're going to show you some pretty cool stuff that you could make with a simple glue gun and of course some glue sticks. Now what I have created here, just to show you some examples briefly, are some real cute heart shaped designs. An icicle pattern right here that I intend on making as a necklace for my ice queen outfit. So you guys better stay tuned for that because that is going to be really, really fun. And also what I've created here again for my ice queen outfit is a mask to go along with it. And here is something that is really, really cool. I actually made a cube shape out of what I showed you before, which is an ice kind of design base. Um, I actually conformed a cube. And the greatest thing about this is this cube actually glows in the dark. So those are some of the fun things that I'm gonna be showing you today. But before I do, I'm gonna take you on an adventure to the office building so that I can show you what this mischievous little elf has been up to. Okay, folks, and some of the materials that we will be using today to decorate, of course, is some gorgeous wire ribbon, also some round ornamental balls, some flat surfaced ornaments with a lot of glitz and glam, because you know I'm all about the bling a bling. Of course, I also incorporated some of my magnificent snowflakes, and if you guys have not seen that episode, make sure you watch it so you know how to be magnificent like me. Okay, and what I've also used is some actual clippings from magazines. That's all the things that we use, so let's go ahead and head out to the office. Okay, so on my desk I decided to make it really festive, really make the holiday season pop. So what I've done for my candy dish, I've actually put like somewhat of a garland ring around it, added my little holly berries and pine cones, and of course, in the dish itself, I've added candy canes, and as you can see, the Hershey, Hershey Kisses. You can never get enough of those. And of course, I popped in this very beautiful poinsettia display and added some holly berry twigs as well into that. And as you can see, candy canes all throughout, and I kind of made those stick out. And what I've done here is I've taken a very ornamental jar right here, and this is the lid. And inside I just threw in candy canes and an assortment of garland and little holiday festivities in that jar. And then I went ahead and put my floral arrangement, as you can see, filled with poinsettias, clusters of holly berry and sugared fruit. And of course your infamous pines and your holly and at the side I went ahead and put an ornament a wonderful red ornament at the side and as we go down I threw in this angel now as you can see she looks a bit rustic and I was gonna throw her out but I said you know what it kind of gives a, a very vintage feel so I decided to keep her in there or use her in one of my displays and I'm definitely happy I did that. She gives a nice touch. And then what I did here is I just took a basic twig, guys. Found it in the forest and I put my 12 days of Christmas ornaments on them just to give a different effect here. Bring nature into my office. I decided to add 
different type of coloration. I went ahead and used a lot of pastels here, kind of giving it that icy feel, and also a type of vintage feel as well. Because as you can see, what I've done here is I've actually added crystals within my Christmas tree. And of course, fruits and pine cones and flowers. So definitely a romantic tree, quite vintage, very beautiful. And as my topper here, of course, you will see that I used ribbons and a clear glass ornament, or I guess clear glass balls also included in that topper. And of course, we can never forget Santa Claus, Santa Claus. I sure did miss you guys, but now that we are back, I can proudly announce, let the happy crafting begin. Okay folks, so now we are gonna be showing you how to use a glue gun and also glue sticks to make some pretty creative designs and creations. Now, before we begin, I wanna to express to you the importance of having a surface where the actual glue will not stick to. Please do not try to use wax paper because I did and it was such a horrific error. The wax or yeah, the wax paper will not come off of your glue material and this design was completely destroyed. So don't do it, learn from my mistake folks. What we're gonna be using today is parchment paper, okay? Parchment paper is excellent to work with. The glue will not stick to it, and as a matter of fact, it easily comes off. So again, parchment paper, not wax paper, parchment paper.
Okay, folks, now I know I kind of rushed through the glue gun creations, but I will be doing a tutorial step-by-step -step on the glue gun um, creation, so please be sure to stay tuned on other episodes of mine. Now, if you guys have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please be sure that you do because I constantly update and I constantly put more and more artsy crafts. So definitely stay tuned. Also, I want to invite you guys to my Artsy World on Facebook. You can find me under Artsy Craft, so please be sure to look out for me and join me there as well. Also, I want to see what you guys are doing. Please hashtag Artsy Craft so I can see you. I thank you again so much for tuning in, and this has been Maria Young with Artsy Crafts.